Hi everyone, it's Jared with Heat Press Nation. If you're looking to customize solid items beyond sublimation blanks, and you own a white toner printer, Forever's Multitrans paper is ready to bring full color images onto plenty of items in no time. In this video, I'll be showing you how this awesome transfer paper can deck out an insulated water bottle with a boldly colored image using the Creo 8432 WDT printer and HP and Signature series mug press with a tumbler attachment. So stick around as we'll customize this. Now, if you enjoy this video or find it to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. But to catch the latest tutorials and live episodes from Heat Press Nation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell. Let's get started. With the endless variety of solid items, surely there must be different customization methods other than sublimation and adhesive vinyl. As white toner printer systems emerge, so too do distinctive materials for these machines. A great example of this is Forever's Multi-Trans Heat Transfer Paper. This is a high quality, one-step transfer applicable to some of the most common solid materials, including wood, ceramic, acrylic glass, and metal. Multitrans lends itself with the ability to customize items ranging from wood panels to insulated water bottles as a result, all without the need to specially coat them for transfers, and they even retain the truest whites of a printed image. Now, speaking of printing for an insulated bottle, you'll first need to create or find, and then scale down your image in a 300 DPI document, fitting them within the exterior of your bottle we recommend measuring the customizable area of your bottle beforehand to determine how tall and wide you'd like your transfers to appear. For this video, we'll be applying standalone graphics fitted to one side of our bottle. To contain multiple images in a single document, it's best to have the document size matching that of your paper. For digital factory or ProRip supported white toner printers, you'd wanna match this size to the proper paper size set in that software. But once you have your image ready, you may export it as a transparent PNG image or as an SVG or EPS vector file to import to your white toner printer's RIP software. As we're using a Creo 8432 WDT for this video, we'll be importing our graphics to Digital Factory. Before doing so, however, you'll want to set the print mode to Forever Dark and set the paper size to either letter or tabloid, depending on what paper you've loaded onto your printer. With the file imported, go to its properties and in the processing options, increase the coverage under base to about 25 to 50 points and change the color boost to about two to four. Then in the ink removal tab, simply uncheck the enabled box as this material will not require rasterization for application. To preview your results, you can run RIP only on your image, then view raw data. If you're satisfied with how your image looks, you may go ahead and print it. With your transfer printed, simply trim around the image or images with a decent chunk of space above and below it. Now you may attach the transfer onto your bottle using heat tape, making sure that the tape doesn't make contact with the image itself. Before turning on your mug press, this would be a good time to adjust it to the proper firm pressure for the bottle. Assuming you've already installed the tumbler attachment to a signature series mug press, this will be just a matter of sliding the bottle inside the heating element, closing the press to verify pressure, then raising or lowering the back two knobs accordingly until you reach firm pressure. If you're customizing a larger bottle, you may need to loosen the front knobs as well. Slide your bottle out and turn on your mug press, setting it to 120 seconds at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as your mug press reaches temperature, just slide your bottle back inside the heating element and press it. Now keep in mind that the amount of time to customize an item with multi-trans will vary depending on what you're customizing. If this was a ceramic mug instead, you'd want to increase the time to 190 seconds to allow the transfer to fully settle in. Also, if you're applying an image or images that reach both sides of your drinkware item, you'll want to press it a second time rotating it wearing heat gloves to its opposite side for the heating element to cover. 
Once your timer hits zero, open your machine and take the bottle out to slightly cool down for a moment. While it's recommended to allow aluminum items like these bottles to reach warm or cold temperatures after pressing, we can go ahead and smoothly peel the transfer off while hot in this case. Your insulated bottle has now been customized with well contrasted and vivid images printed with Forever Multi Trans. If you'd like to show off your custom insulated bottles or other solid items with us and join a growing community of heat transfer enthusiasts, you can check out our Heat Press Nation Creators Facebook group at heat.press FB group. But to learn more about Forever Multi Trans paper and other white toner materials and tools, please visit us at heatpressnation.com. For any questions, you can get in touch with one of our friendly MyExpert representatives at heat.press support. Once again, I'm Jared with Heat Press Nation, and thanks for watching.